People can immigrate to Canada by finding a job, joining a family that's already here, or by investing in the Canadian economy. Additionally, people who study in Canada can choose to stay permanently after getting a work permit. Refugees and asylum seekers can settle in Canada under specific circumstances. There are several programs to consider to apply for permanent residence in Canada. Express entry for skilled workers and tradespeople. Startup visa program. Immigrant investor venture capital pilot program. Self-employed persons program. Family sponsorship. Atlantic Immigration Pilot Programme Caregiver Programme Refugees and Asylum Seekers Once you decide which is the programme for you, you can view our videos about that particular application process, as well as learn about the application forms, the fees and the supporting documents from our website. Regardless of meeting the specific immigration programme criteria, you must also satisfy general admissibility criteria. Otherwise, you may be denied entry in Canada due to the inadmissibility reasons. For security reasons, such as having committed human or international rights violations, for having committed serious crimes involving more than 10 years imprisonment, for having driven under the influence of alcohol or drugs, for having participated in organized criminal activity, for medical or financial reasons. For failure to comply with the Immigration and Refugee Protection Act in the past, or just for being related to an inadmissible family member. Express Entry Skilled Workers If you want to immigrate to Canada under the Express Entry Program, you must be able to contribute to the local economy by having skilled work experience. You can immigrate under one of the three Federal Economic Immigration Programs or under one of the Provincial Nomination Programs. Federal Skilled Worker Program Federal Skilled Trades Program Canadian Experience Class Provincial Nominee Program If you want to immigrate as a skilled worker under the Express Entry, you must prove that you can meet the minimum requirements for one of the programs including relevant work experience and skills, job expertise, sufficient number of working hours, adequate language ability and appropriate education. Having a valid job offer is a big help, but the biggest asset is to have a provincial nomination. Skilled workers are given entry to Canada through express entry on the basis of the number of points earned through the point-based ranking system applied to their qualified pool of candidates. Only candidates with the highest number of points for all comprehensive criteria are given an invitation to apply for permanent resident status. To see the current acceptable scores, go to our website. An alternative way to immigrate to Canada as a skilled worker is through the Quebec Selected Skilled Workers Program, which sets specific immigration criteria for the province of Quebec. Startup Visa Program Businessmen who can prove that they have a fresh startup idea that can benefit the Canadian economy by building an innovative and competitive business venture can apply to immigrate to Canada under the Startup Visa Program. In addition, applicants must prove that the business is supported by a designated organization such as a venture capital fund, an angel investor group, or a business incubator. They meet the ownership requirements in a way that each applicant holds at least 10%, whereas the applicant and the designated organization together hold more than 50% of the voting rights in the business. They meet the Canadian Language Benchmark, CLB, five language requirements for English, French, or both. Own sufficient settlement funds for personal and support of the family members in amount of the minimum 12,300 Canadian dollars for one dependent or maximum of 32,550 Canadian dollars for seven or more dependents. Immigrant Investor Venture Capital Pilot Program 
To be able to immigrate to Canada under the Immigrant Investor Venture Capital Pilot Program, you must have a personal net worth of at least 10 million Canadian dollars, acquired through lawful business or investment activities, and obtain a due diligence report for your worth at your expense from one of the designated financial institutions. You must also make an at-risk investment of at least 2 million Canadian dollars in the Immigrant Investor Venture Capital, IIVC Fund. Additionally, you must meet the minimum Canadian language benchmark, CLB5, language requirement, and have completed a Canadian post-secondary degree, diploma, or certificate of at least one year, or an equivalent foreign degree. Self-Employed Persons Program to become eligible to immigrate to Canada as a self-employed person, you must have relevant work experience, meet the selection criteria for self-employed persons, and meet medical, security and financial conditions. Your experience is relevant if you have taken part in cultural activities or athletics at a world-class level. You intend to use your experience to contribute to the benefit of Canada. You have been self-employed in cultural activities or athletics, or if you have experience in managing a farm. Selection criteria for self-employed persons include experience, education, age, language abilities and adaptability. To meet medical, security and financial requirements, you and your family members must present medical exams, police certificates and proofs of financial support. Family Sponsorship If you are in a romantic relationship with a Canadian citizen or permanent resident currently living in Canada who is at least 18 years old, that citizen or permanent resident can sponsor you to come to live with him or her. Your spouse or partner must prove that they have sufficient funds to provide for your basic needs and prove that you will not depend on the Canadian government once here. Family sponsorship categories include spouses, common law partners, conjugal partners, children or grandchildren, parents or grandparents, adopted children, as well as other relatives in some cases. So this program may be open to those who are not in a romantic relationship with a citizen or permanent resident. The family sponsorship application may be denied if your partner failed to provide the agreed financial support in the past, defaulted on a support court order, such as a spousal or child support, or on an immigration loan, received government assistance other than disability, were convicted of a serious crime, or is in prison or under bankruptcy. Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program if you are a skilled immigrant or an international student graduate who wants to permanently settle in New Brunswick, Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island, you can apply for the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program by obtaining a job offer from a designated employer in an Atlantic province. If you are a student graduate, you must also have graduated from a public educational institution from one of the provinces included in the pilot program. Caregiver program. If you are not a skilled worker, you can still immigrate to Canada under the caregiver program, provided you have adequate training, relevant education, and appropriate experience. Usually registered nurses or trained childcare providers apply to immigrate as caregivers. There are three pathways to immigrate as a caregiver in Canada. The Caring for Children pathway is available to caregivers who take care of a child in a home. The Caring for People with High Medical Needs pathway is available to caregivers who take care of elderly or disabled people or chronically ill people in a health facility or in a home. The Live-In Caregiver program is available to live-in caregivers who are already working in Canada with a live-in caregiver program work permit or who are approved for their first live-in caregiver program work permit if they have an employer's positive labour market impact assessment application. 
Refugees and Asylum Seekers Refugees do not choose to immigrate to Canada, but may settle here due to having no hope of relief of the abhorrent circumstances that made them leave their previous home. Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, IRCC, works in partnership with UNHCR, sponsorship agreement holders, Group of Five and community sponsors and Blended Visa Office Referred Program, BVOR, to help refugees settle in Canada under the Refugee and Humanitarian Resettlement Program for people seeking protection from outside Canada and under the In Canada Asylum Program for people making refugee protection claims from within Canada.